Hello, good morning. Today we're going to learn about solving quadratic equations by extracting square root. This is our second lesson in grade 9 mathematics. Okay, now, perfect square integer. What are the numbers or integers that we consider perfect square? But by the way, let's define this. A perfect square integer is an integer that is a square of an integer. Also a product when you multiply integer by itself. And the result is always a non-negative. I mean the perfect square is always positive. Example 25, 49, and 81. 25 is perfect square because there is or there are certain numbers when you multiply it by itself. The result is 25, like 5 and negative 5. Let me show you. Example, um, 5 times 5, the result is 25. And negative 5 times negative 5 is equal to 25. It's always the same number, meaning multiply by itself. Also, 49 and 81. Okay, now perfect square numbers up to 12. So, let me give you this. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, and 144. Okay, these numbers are considered perfect squares because there are numbers when you multiply by itself. The answer is the number, this color red number. Okay. Perfect square variables. When do we say that a variable is a perfect square? So we're going to notice the exponent. Okay, the color red, x squared, x raised to the 4th power, x raised to the 6th power, and x raised to the 8th power. Those variables are considered a perfect square because their exponents are even number. So take note of this. Okay, square root. What is the meaning of square root? Uh, square root is a, bar, uh, is a value that can be multiplied by itself to give the original number. We can use radical sign, like the sign or a square root sign, to find the square root of a certain integer. So we're going to find the square root of the perfect square numbers. So let me give you an example. 16 is a perfect square number. And then when you find the square root, we have a value which is 4. Okay, why? Because 4 is squared or 4 times 4, the product is 16. Therefore, the square root of 16 is 4. Also, 16, the square root of 16 is negative 4. Why? Because when you multiply negative 4 by itself, the result is also 16. In short, there are two values as a square root of 16. One is positive 4 and the other one is negative 4. Okay, let's find let's find the square root of the following. Number 1, square root of 4. Number 2, square root of 256. Also, the square root of 64, square root of 169, and so on. Okay, the answer for number 1, square root of 4 is equal to 2. Or it can be negative 2. There are two answers. There are two solutions. I mean, uh, there are two uh, square root. The square root of 4, either 2 or negative 2. Let me tell you why. Because when you multiply 2 by itself, like 2 times 2, the product is positive 4. Also, negative 2. Negative 2, when you multiply negative 2 by itself, or finding the square of negative 2, the product is 4. Two answers. It's not only square root of 4 is 2. No, there are another number. There's another number that we can consider like negative 2. Okay, also 256. The square root of 256 are 16, or can be negative 16. Always include negative because when we multiply negative 16 by itself, like six, negative 16 times negative 16, the product is also 256. Not only positive. So there are two answers always. Okay, so that's how to do it. So please look at this. 
Number 3, square root of 64, square root of 1, or 1, or negative 1. Yeah, just look at this. Okay, next. Learn to solve quadratic equations. I will give you two examples. One is x squared is equal to 36, and the other one is t squared minus 64 is equal to 0. Try to solve number 1. Okay, number 1, x squared is equal to 36. Notice that the left side of the equation is a perfect square, and also the right side is a perfect square. So what we're going to do is to find the square root. Simply find the square root, because they are both uh, perfect square. Okay, so square root of square, uh, x squared is equal to square root of 36. So finding the square root of a perfect square, so since this is 2, and this is a square root, so simply cancel the radical symbol and cancel the exponent so that we will have x. We're going to do this because uh, when you find the square root of x squared, the result is always x. It's equal to positive or negative 6. There are two solutions for this equation, either positive 6 or negative 6. I will tell you why. Because when you multiply positive 6 by itself, positive 6, so positive 6 times positive 6, the product is 36. Also negative 6. Because when we, when we multiply negative 6 by itself, the result is also 36. Next, number 2, t squared minus 64 is equal to 0. So this time, this given is different from this one. So simply transpose negative 64 to the right. Always do this because it should be in the right side. The constant will be in the right side. And then remain t squared. Okay, how to do this? So we have t squared is equal to positive 64. Now negative 64 to positive 64. So that's the rule. When you transpose or when you replace this to the right side, the answer will be positive. So, sir, if this will be positive, then, then we're going to transpose to the right. What will happen? Also change the sign. Okay, now find the square root of this left and right because they are both a uh, perfect square. So, find the square root. Now, eliminate this symbol and this exponent. We have t is equal to the square root of 64. The square root of 64 are positive 8 or negative 8. So there are two. Okay, next. The third example, we have 2s squared minus 98 is equal to 0. This time, the difference of this given is that we have a more than one coefficient of s squared. And negative 98 will be transposed to the right to easily get the value of s. In this equation, in finding the value of s, let's concentrate to the term that we have s. So we're going to transpose negative 98 to the right and rewrite 2s squared. How to do this? So we rewrite, we're going to rewrite 2s squared and transpose negative 98 to the right of the equation. So we have positive 98. Tell me why it become 98. Because in the rule, when you transpose a certain number or integer to the right, or you change the position, you equate this to the other side, the requirements always change the sign. So we have positive 98. Okay, now the next step to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2. Why? Because our coefficient of s squared is 2. And then 2 will be our divisor to both sides. Why is there any? Because that's the only way in order to eliminate 2 here and then remain s squared or cancel. Let's try to do this. What is 2 divided by 2? The quotient is 1. And 1 is invisible. So we have s squared or simply cancel this 2. If you notice that the given number here are the same, so just simply cancel this. And then it's equal to 98 divided by 2. So when you divide 98 by 2, our quotient is 49. Now, we're there in this 
case that the left side is perfect square and the right side. So what you're going to do is to find the square root of both sides. Square root of s squared is equal to square root of 49. What is the square root of s squared? So cancel this, cancel this. s will be our value. Is equal to what are the square root of 49? There are two answers again. It's positive or negative 7. So there are two solutions. There are two roots or answer for the value of s. We have positive 7 or negative 7.